I'm gonna tell you guys why the Road King is not just one of, but the best motorcycle Harley Davidson ever made and ever can make. What's up guys, I'm Sean from SRK Cycles and this is a 2007 Harley Davidson Road King Classic. You know it's a Road King Classic because of these cool looking soft bags. Now in 2007 they made six different types of, of Road Kings. They made the Road King Police Edition, the Road King California Police Edition, which the only difference between those two was the California one voted Democrat and when they saw some guy like living in the streets and you know, he just, he just let it go. He just didn't do anything about it. You had the regular Road King. You had the, with this one, Road King Classic, and then the Road King Custom, and then you had this CVO Road King, which is my other motorcycle. Now in 2007, the Road King came equipped with a 96 cubic inch motor, which is roughly, well, exactly 1,584 cc's of displacement. It also came, this is the first year, this is crazy, this was the first year that the big touring bikes came with a six-speed transmission. Now in 2006, they put the six-speed transmission in the Dynas, which I don't know why they would do that, but that's what they did. Now I'm being serious when I say I, I do think the Road King is the best Harley Davidson ever made and will be the best, maybe not, maybe they might make something cooler in the future, but as of right now, it is the best. And I'm going to show you guys why right now. Come on Harrison. There's my beautiful Road King, my CVL, come on. Because the Road King has nothing that it doesn't need. It's got everything you need, nothing you don't. Come around here. Now listen, this is an awesome motorcycle. This is a beautiful bike. I love these bikes. This is a beautiful Harley Davidson Ultra Limited? No, Ultra Classic. But all these things with the radio and, and these buttons controlling the radio, in 50 years from now, this is going to look so dumb. Are, are people really going to want to ride a bike that has some, you know, an A-track player or a record player inside that you can't use and take it up all the space? If you don't believe me, look at this. Here's an 80s Kawasaki Voyager. This, what is this? This is hideous. This is actually an A-track that maybe a tape deck or an A track, I don't know, but it's it's a monster. You can't use it. It's too old. You can't. You see, you have wasted space. You got all this space in here that you can't use, and all the buttons, you know, have these buttons here are just for the radio and and the and, the, and that that system. Not with a Road King. You can hop on a Road King, you know, 50 years later, and it's still just everything that's that the, the thing was made with. You can still use in the future because people are gonna still want brakes. People are going to still want a seat. People are going to still want to, you know, twist the throttle. And now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Sean, it's a big bike. It's a big, bad bike. First of all, it's an awesome color. I bought this bike just because it's a color. I love it. It's a big bike. Can it handle? Can you perform? Can you really take a turn with it? Well, I think the police riders have proven that. If you ever watch any of those, the Yonkers videos or anything of, of, of their police training school, they tear up these bikes. These, these crash bars become wear items from them dragging bars so much. I mean, these bikes can handle. In the 2007, which is before the larger, wider tire, which I think happened in 2009, uh, a lot of those guys who really performed with these bikes, they liked this one better because they thought it, they thought it you know, went, went in the corners a little bit easier. There's only one way to find out how good these bikes are. Let's take a first spin. Come on. All right, guys, before we do the test drive, let's do the words of wisdom real quick. James 119, this you know, my beloved brethren, but everyone must be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. Slow to anger. Sometimes, I don't do a very good job at that. So that's why this whole test drive is going to listen. I'm going to listen for you guys to talk, and I'm going to listen to what you're saying. Nah, I'm just kidding. You guys don't want to talk. I got this. All right, so, Row King. Love them. Six-speed transmissions are great. They're fun. Uh, and the, the modern, let's go over the modern Harley Davidson uh, a little bit. Starting with the Evo. Starting with the Evo motor, which was um, mid, I think early, early to mid to late 90s, and then and that was a great motor. 
it was a good it was a good reliable motor next up was the twin cam the 88 cubic inch 88 cubic inch twin cam and it was also a good motor had a flaw though had a what they a somewhat of a fatal flaw uh, not a huge deal it just had to be checked it had to make sure it was good or, re or, or replaced um, and that was the cam chain tensioner why am i why am i waiting in traffic and that was a cam chain tensioner some had a problem some didn't but it's one of those things if you didn't check it or if it, if it went bad it really went bad and you really had to replace your engine um we only had one bike that it ever happened with actually it wasn't the cam chain tensioner it was actually the uh, the cam uh the cam bearing actually uh, had a problem and then this then this engine comes up the 96 cubic inch twin cam and it was actually a great motor now i've seen i've had i've had bikes with the 88 cubic inch uh with over 100,000 miles personally i had, i personally had road king over 100 um thousand miles like 115 or 113 or something like that it's a great bike the 96 came out i've personally seen motorcycles with the 96 cubic inch which well over this has 56,000 miles and it feels like it feels great it does not feel like an old used abuse bike at all it really feels good it feels tight i've had ones with over 100,000 miles also go to the next motor the 103 bam i've seen them with over 100,000 miles these are solid these are solid engines now the milwaukee 8 i just i i i I don't know what to say about it. Uh, I've never personally seen any with over 100,000 miles, but that's because it's a newer motor. And then of course the uh, the CVO 110. I have another Road King that has a CVO 110 in it. And I just looked at it today. It's got 99,560 uh, 99, miles on it. Woo! Now you see those little hat things? Those little like things that go over the lights these have skulls on them of course um i always looked at them as like little tiny hats little tiny hats for my headlights i don't know why people need them like i guess they look cool it's, it's a classic look i guess i like the road king it's the best thing about it take that windshield off pull those two little levers push it out throw it in the woods because you don't need it it's the worst when it's when it's cold outside you know what all right i'll get it it's, it's okay it's all right when it's hot outside throw it in the field also but all this stuff all this stuff i'm seeing down here because you, you got to imagine the street glide and the road glide and all those bikes the fairing stops up here it's up here everything you're seeing is over top of it so it's all this stuff you wouldn't normally be seeing you know a little squirrel runs past Nah, it's not a safety it's not a safety issue i'm not trying to make it a safety issue because it's not but it's more of a preference. I just like to, I like to see more of the road. Now I'm not saying I don't have tons of fun and ride, put put miles on, you know, the, the Ultra Classics and the Limited. I love those bikes too. I just, if I had to choose one, which I didn't have to, but I chose to choose one, decided to be a Road King guy. I've never actually seen a Road King with this paint color on it. it I, it's not crazy rare. You look it up and you'll see pictures of them. It's a beautiful paint color. It's in really good. I mean, like, like this, this paint and all the tins are in really, really good shape. Guys, before I do this air to 60, if you have a motorcycle and if you ride motorcycle, of course, I am gonna, I'm going to assume you have insurance. If you don't have insurance, you got to get insurance. But if you have a motorcycle and you need insurance, you guys need to check out motoquote.info motoquote.info and when you go on there you, it takes a two minutes you fill in your information and then an actual company a real real life person will will come will, will take up all the major motorcycle uh, insurance companies they'll come up with the best quote and they will contact you they're gonna email or text you the best possible quote to see if you guys can save money chances are you can save a couple bucks so go check out motoquote.info Save yourself a couple bucks. All right, let's do it. One. Right there. Now, I've personally spent, you know, thousands of miles on a Road King, on a big trip. Highway pegs. 
you know, the crash, the bikes come with crash bars. It's great to put highway pegs on them. Because then you can really, you really kick out, get that different, you know, change your legs up a little bit. It's also, you know, you might put your leg back on the rear passenger peg if there's no back there. Another modification that for me is a must. Maybe it's not for you, but for me, it's just, I, I kind of have, I don't I have to have it, but it, I can ride a whole lot longer with it. You know what I mean? I can ride an co extra couple hundred thousand miles. No, extra couple hundred miles is a backrest. Listen, I know, it's super old, man. It's so old, man. Sean, you're so old. You and your backrest. It makes a big difference. I get kicked back, man. I love it. I love it. All right, let's try the cruise control. Let's see if this works. That's on. Let's, let's put it on set. Hey, here we go. We got cruise control. That's another great feature that a lot of times you're looking at a bike, you don't notice. Uh, the Road Kings can have them or they can't have them. Some do, some don't. It was an option. And maybe all the classics did. I'm not completely sure. But when you're looking at a one thing that might consider if you're looking at a road king and you and you and you use cruise control you like cruise control on longer trips it's an it's it's really nice to have it's not a necessity but it is nice to have this one happens to have it now these lights these are just like auxiliary that's probably for those lights one's for the, the lights the other one's for like an auxiliary switch if you want to plug something else into that the cool thing about the cruise control on motorcycles is, um, you know, the ones that are built in, you, just like a car, you do anything. You get on, you grab the clutch, you grab the brake, you grab that brake, you shift, you roll off the throttle, you roll up on the throttle, you roll down on the throttle. Anything you actually move, anything you actually touch is going to turn the cruise control off. And, you know, safety, safety. You're right. You're riding a motorcycle, but you know what? Let's try to keep it a little bit safe. This bike has Python exhaust. They sound really good. They're not overpowering. They're not crazy loud. Like, you're not going to piss off all your neighbors, just some of your neighbors. And you can tell back there when you're cruising, they, it wasn't the loudest thing you could hear. All right, guys. That wraps it up. Don't forget to check out this next video right here about another motorcycle that I also enjoyed. We'll see you guys later. Remember, it's not what you're riding, but where you're going.